let us get back to the days two college in ashilo two college in barcelo and you were my professor for a very brief uh, short time tena tumi synchronicity mhanun kine kartale ek group ashilo which was sort of uh, art promote karpacho tumche bitaru jao to pan you sort of lokamukar art varpacho ek prayatna ashilo taje bahar art forum mhanta te kine kele which was sort of a, a revolutionary movement goyan tari sushagat goyan jalyar taje badal maka thode sang Then that was a significant moment. Art forum was formed largely with uh, lots of artists. Then the the main problem, the the main impetus where the art forum was formed was because of the color academy. Was in terms of their functioning, in terms of a lot of uh, like you no know, issues which were not right. So then many of us artists were there in Goa, got together and formed it as a forum where all the visual artists who had passed out from art college. Uh, we had formed it in '91. So by then. the art college was formed in 75 i think from 80 so there were for the last even 20 years there were am students who had passed out who are senior junior whatever so that was one of the major impetus and then you don't have art the way how it is seen today that there was no much exposure of what we had today in terms of galleries and also in terms of things were lacking with the government in terms of how they were in promoting space to expose yourself as well yeah so that was one of the larger reasons of why it was formed and also in terms of the growth for it to take art from goa out so it was seen also in larger context it's no more existing or is, no, is it is disbanded in uh, i think everything has a life number uh, one shelf life as well that that had a very short so shelf life it took a long shelf life the last show which we had together because we were as a collective from 91 to 99 till 99 99 was the last show which we had almost a decade yes it was almost a decade when we thought that we were going to scale newer heights Uh, I think what goes up has to come down. Come down, yeah. The other mistake that I mean, Ted Mandat Morgan. So, one is just one uh, among the two artists who have got the prestigious Harmony Award for Emerging Artist. Two thousand and thirteen, I have made a list. Taja Badal Uloya, tell me about that. It is a prestigious award as far as India is concerned. Yeah, I think so. I think you shared so. it, of course, but yeah, then it was shared. Yeah. It was a shared award, and later year, then the next year, when I think Rajshree got. It. Tell me about everything about it, as to as to what you felt about it when you got it, and everything that goes into. Uh, I I was quite surprised. I was quite surprised because that was the first year Rajshree I was, was uh, invited. Uh, she was also there. Yeah, she was also she was also invited in the first year where I like participated, and it took me by surprise. Yes, I felt honored in a way, and uh, as also being the first Goan who was uh, given this award, and also for the type of work which I do, because my work is supposed to be very much I mean controversial. Because one thing what I very clearly remember uh, was winning that award, and I think in the full history of the In Harmony show, everyone who wins that award, the work is bought there and there, and my work was not sold, I think, till the last day, and in the end, it was bought by one of my collectors. It was bought by I'm never to do. Because yeah, because it was a it In was a naked penis. male. It was a naked torso of a naked male, showing his circumcised penis. But these are just some symbolizations because there are so many things which one can see in a painting. But it's how, you know, ways of seeing of how one's eyes are trained to see an art. The strange part was that if you have been for the Harmony show, it's almost like uh, in a mela where you have got thousands of people. And where my work was there, these three works of mine, there was a gap. Okay. There was this big gap because I mean everyone wanted to see, see but everyone was like you know uh, was being a warrior because everyone went in front but no one went up. But I think largely there were lots of women who went up. This I guess is the Indian mindset too in the way how we view things. Makai sir, तुझे ऊपर आने रजिस्टर तक करा अवार्ड में जैसे वो अवार्ड में तो गर्स तू कहीं तेरी regularly ऐसा exhibit जाएना शुल्ला कि वहाँ तुझे own one man show शुरू तुम्हें करूँ ना No, no, no. I mean, largely one thing was that I was involved a lot from '91 in doing all the activities of the art forum, where it took a lot of my time. And secondly, is that I do work which is very much, I mean, you know, detailed. So it takes me a long time, and I'm also very much, I mean, ambitious. I always want to paint in series, do diptychs, triptychs. And the other part is that I could never assemble a larger collection or a bigger body of work because the work sold in in whatever manner. नहीं तुझे आनी एक मदी एक एक्सपेरिमेंट के विच यू हेड शोन एट फुंदुसा ओरिएंत गैलरी तुम कंप्यूटराइज डिजिटल मेनिपुलेशन्स आनी डिजिटल प्रिंट्स का टेल मी अबाउट दैट कारण तेना तक फाम आई वॉज आई थिंक वन ऑफ द पायनियर्स ऑफ डिजिटल आर्ट इन इंडिया 
long before Baiju and all got into it. Because I started actually experimenting in 94. And uh, first, the first books which I did, they were like, you know, manipulation. I now slightly I felt there was something like you were talking about some sociological or political uh, stuff where you had some throne, you had some bomb, something like that. Yeah, those books were done because these were the works which were not you know, manipulated. They were done totally on the PC. Because uh, by then, uh, by the time I learned, because I had to learn everything by myself, from building up the hardware to getting to know the right softwares, that there were many works which were done on the PC totally. They were not scanned. Oh, they were drawn on a on a Wacom pad, which is the same digitizer. So they were done from scratch. So yeah. So then I used I mean Photoshop as a palette. That's like how you use it as a palette to paint in terms of from conventional painting where you use tubes. So I use Photoshop and I use this um, like a Wacom pad to draw straight up on the screen. Okay. So but not they were not. No, uh, no. Eighty percent of the work. Picture. No, no. Eighty percent of the work was not. Some of them were. Okay. Some of them were like you know photographs because I also had this interest in photography which I. I thought I would I mean, document the churches of World Goa, but then I realized that I'm so small compared to the scale and the size and the time we need. And unlike today when you have got digital photography where you don't have to bother about film, yeah. there we have to think 10 times when you get 36 frames, you taught a thousand times for each shot which you're going to click. So anyway, so then we all grow in terms of our interest. That, that's so much for the work, which I, I did digital work till around 2002-2003. But now I want to experiment to do it in a much more larger space. So digital work, yeah, no, that's the only solo show which I have. Okay. I have not had a solo show of my paintings for a very long time. Largely because I paint slowly. Two is in terms that I am involved in lots of activities. And third is that I've got lots of, uh, lots of ideas. My mind works too hard and my hands can't keep pace. Okay. <laughs> Anik, uh, don't you feel like visiting that, uh, that media, that medium again? I do, I do, I do. I mean, because uh, uh, the other thing also then people didn't understand it. Because people didn't understand, I mean, what is the digital art? Because they thought it was something very simple where you went and press a key and you say mouse and you press enter and the you know, PC was going to paint a mouse yeah. for you. It was much more difficult and I also got frustrated because there was no tactile quality. For someone who's a painter, who, who's, a, who's a conventional painter, who's used to the smell of paint and uh, 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 the feel. You know, the feel of the pen on the canvas or the paper, which was not there. Which was not there. Which was not there. So that was very much more frustrating. And then also, in the end, when you're working on the PC, you got to take digital proofs. Uh, you got to, you got to calibrate. So it is a long process in terms of finally getting your print. I mean, now of course now things are much more simpler than what it was then because then it was much more uh, to the stone age to where we are with it. Which I think I have to get back, which I have not done for a long time. But now I think I would do I would be some be much more like an ambitious to do works which are much more larger and much more bigger. But everything is a cycle and a circle in the end because for me finally uh, I'm you know primarily a drawer, yeah. and that's what interests me the most. So I think I've got much more interest now to get back to drawing to get back to painting again. Because that was a part of my like an experimentation and I'm quite well versed and well founded with it, so I know it quite well. So I think I had to move on back to the you know, basics because finally it's all a cycle of whatever we do in art from uh, the art of not making. Like if you look in our one of our seminar papers where you go where today artists are just people with you know ideas. Yeah. We have got this huge workshop, we have got all this you know these some factory crews who come and do work for you. So I want to revisit in terms of the older artists of getting to be very, you know, what is a functional by myself, where I paint, where I know, where I'm the, the you know, master creator by myself. Anjek Goshtamalar, I look at you as a, as a cerebral artist, a person who is well-read, a person who is intelligent. You have a lot trends, a conceptual trends, which is com comparatively more closer to your way of thinking. I'm not speaking about that, I'm speaking about the installation of the new uh, age media. Can you tell, tell me about that? I, I, I don't think nothing, no, I don't think nothing much about it because I don't think nothing much about installation. I look at it very good as being an experiment and I feel anyone can do, can, can do a, like an installation. You don't need to have a label of being an artist to do one. These are not things and these are things which have been done in the West a long time back. I'm just being in terms of being copycats of the last 30 years. And just this full cycle about uh, uh, the hype of it. I think it's a Western thought which has come very much to us that we have forgotten in terms of the, the um, traditions from where we come from. But one thing you've got to understand the full complexities of the you know, Western mind, or I should say white mind, the white mind. 
I'm not trying to be I mean, racist, but the white man always wants to be very much I mean, superior because at the time I lived, I lived in Europe, artists were very interested in terms of their contribution as being the first, as no one has done this. I'm the first one to do this because I had gone to someone's I mean, studio and I found it very much absurd because he was using a car painter to highly polished plates, okay. highly polished plates in black and they were polished to such a degree where you could see your face in them. And he said no one had done it in the world before. So that was his contribution. And I don't look at it as being something very serious. It's just in terms of the full height. Of, eh, 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 and it's like uh, a book and a painting. A book is something which you can has a life of its own. It will travel from your father to you, to your son or to your friends. You can carry it. It's I mean, portable. It doesn't need to be plugged in. Even though you have got I mean, Kindle, you've got e-books, you need to have a like, power source. But a book has a life of its own and a book can be read by each person. Each person can interpret the book by his or her own self. Uh, 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 the same thing with the painting. The same thing with the painting also. A painting has a life of its own. As much as I would speak about my work, uh, that's the most easiest thing to do. That what the role of a painting is for the painting to speak in empty darkness to a person. Because for me, I always believe that the work of art is a half-truth. But half the truth is what the artist has you know, put up forward and the next half truth is of the viewer. And when they both, I mean, they both I mean, collate. And the great thing about the painting is that you can have 20 people, 50 people, as much space that one can see the work and each one has got their own interpretations. So you have got one work which has got a much more larger life. So by the time you walk out of the room or you're dead and gone, your work still breathes. And the work could breathe for me because the work which I did I mean, 20 years ago may not have the same meaning but it has for me today. Because as my mind also evolves, it depends so on the social the structure as well. Absolutely. Social situations. Uh, I think personal back to When we had this, this uh, artist retreat, it was just meant to be actually a camp, or what is known in the uh, 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 larger world order as being uh, sort of an artist camp. And then we thought next year we'll have another artist camp and another artist camp. And the plan was that from the start that when we had these camps and we would build this collection, which would go to uh, found like a museum. And then this thing came across of all these homes which we own, all these homes which we own, which are not used, and not to be in that space of going, of you know, go and going gone, which I'm totally against also selling homes. This is another story altogether. That we decided that why not we open up these houses, this whole, you know, I mean, go on homes, what we have, let us be like, you know, stable and get art in from the inside outside and that's what actually vice versa is about and now we have decided now we have become a little bit like an ambitious after we have formally launched our, our residencies which one can go and see on our website it's open for artists across the world that is vice versa dot in vice versa dot co dot in where we have got uh, the five houses which we have put up uh, right across where we can take 20 artists uh, a month but because of our logistics, we just stick to taking five artists because we want to treat them well. And the way how the full thing has been planned is that how I would think I would want people to treat me as an artist. The same way I would want to treat them, with due respect. And also in terms of um, contribution, because everything is in terms of what we can contribute and what they can contribute into a much more larger space where we can grow. And we have got lots of other things now, as we have uh, formally said from the time we launched uh, Vice Versa 2, on 28th of this of, of last month, that now ours is a, like a foundation, and uh, we have got our focuses in terms of you know in terms of um, documentation, education, uh, exhibitions, and uh, uh, public presentation of of the individual arts. As of now, uh, maybe as time grows by, maybe also on the literature, but that would be very much I mean goa centered. That's what the I mean, seminars are about, because even in terms of the seminar spaces, what we have is largely in terms of visual culture. It's not that it would be largely to do of what we understand in terms of being you know, fine art, but uh, lots of things which are not undocumented. Because one of the papers which I'm very proud of, of uh, a person called Dr. Bernie Gomes. So she has some, you know, she has researched this paper about animist, uh, animistic traditions in Goa. Yeah. We had the animists yeah. who were there before we got into their spaces and in terms of their beliefs and their visual space and the full etymology of their cultural values is so large and uh, it has been undocumented in our book because first it was planned to be called a catalog but now because it's become so large as it uh, documents our full and residency 
all the four papers which have been represented and the works. I'm Chai Chai Karayavar Hangat Sapta. You have any suggestions? 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 You have any suggestions?